right, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is Friday, June 9th, and tonight, of course, is Game 4 of the Cavaliers-Warriors uh, NBA Finals Series. Been a very interesting uh, series to, to try to handicap uh, all series long, and uh, we're talking right now with Troy West from TroyWins.com, who uh, gave us three uh, prop bets for Game 3 and... Two of them cash, Troy West. Two and one on your prop picks for Game 3, so congratulations. Thanks so much for uh, for, for those winning picks, and uh, we're going to do it again for Game 4. Again, in a series like this, which is kind of a little bit hard to figure out uh, what the, where the betting value might be as far as the side and total is concerned, maybe props are the best way to uh, to bet it to find value. Right, Troy? No, absolutely, Pete. You know, actually, out of all the three games, we're 3-0 and with you guys so far on ATS as well. But as far as the props go, you know, this is way to go, I think, in this final game here because – my God, this is just a bizarre spread, which we'll talk about later. But I do believe that the props may be the way to go here for Game 4. Yeah, that's right. Actually, I forgot about that. In Game 3, you you made a ballsy pick, uh, despite the fact that the uh, the spread was about 4, uh, but the first half spread was was Pickham, and even plus a half at some places, indicating that uh, you know the market and betters were expecting Cleveland to do better than expected in the first half. You gave us Golden State first half as a pick, and that one cashed, and uh, and that one cashed uh, relatively comfortably. And then, of course, uh, you also gave us Golden State on the full game, which was uh, you know looking uh, kind of dicey for a while, but ultimately that one ended up cashing as well. So you went Four and one on uh, your five picks in game three, Troy. Thanks so much for that. So here we are in uh, in game four. And uh, yesterday, the line well, the line opened at pinnacle at, at minus four for uh, for Golden State and got bet quickly all the way up to about six or six and a half. Now somebody's come back the other way. It's now down to five and a half or six. I'm staying way the hell off this one. But uh, you have a take on on the spread or maybe the total. Of course, uh, game three went way over and maybe, uh, you know, whether uh, whether Cleveland pulls out a win or Golden State uh, rolls again, it's high score again what do you think you know this would be the one game that i would give a pass i know at the mm-hmm. start of this series i told you we were going to ride golden state all the way through it and they are 3-0 ats in this series obviously up 3-0 and obviously we have the series bet as well with gold state but this one's really tricky because you got the cleveland cavaliers at this point they're obviously a sunken ship i mean this series is is statistically over i mean it really is i, I don't see any way in hell cleveland's winning four into the next four out of five I, it's just not going to happen with that being said, excuse me, the next four games. Um, with that being said, six points beats a lot. I mean, mm-hmm. you just really got to wonder where Cleveland's pride is going to be. And I think that's one thing that's tough to measure. We know LeBron James is still arguably the best player of all time. Can he rally the troops and get a game in this series? Or are they just going to throw in the towel and say, hey, I'm looking forward to being with my family and friends and you know, tip their cap to Golden State? That's one thing as a handicapper is very tough to measure. I truly believe that. And for me, I would put a pass on it. If I had to bet it, I'd probably go with Golden State to cover one last time, put the beat down, and win this game by 10. But it's tough because you just don't know what LeBron James are going to get tonight. You really don't. Right. All right. So maybe the best way to bet this game is with uh, props. As usual, we have the usual assortment here of uh, of uh, you know the points props, the rebounds props, and the assist props for all of the uh, all of the uh, star players. And of course, there are also double double and triple double props. LeBron James, for example, to get a double double is minus three ninety at. Uh, at five dimes to not get a double double is plus 300 and then uh, to get a triple double plus 170 and no triple double is minus 215 as an example of uh, how you can bet this game on, on on player props are there any player props that you think might have some value here in game four well i do believe you know lebron uh, gets a little bit of value there to get a triple double i think there's going to be some lackadaisical defense mm-hmm. tonight i just i don't think you're going to see the fire that you saw in those first three games be especially last game that was a phenomenal basketball game start to finish but you know now that it's 3-0 I don't think you're going to see the same firepower I think LeBron's going to go off for a triple double I really do and the reason why is I don't think he's going to be defended as well as he has been in the last few games so I think there's some value there I think you're going to see Kevin Durant go off again we hit that prop last time over 30 points I think he's going to have an outstanding game this guy wants the championship will he get it in Cleveland tonight or will he get it in game five in Golden State that remains to be unseen but this guy uh, he can smell it. He's so close at this point. Be I picked him to win the MVP at the start of the series at plus 180. He's going to solidify that MVP tonight. I do think he's going to go over his point total once again. All right. It is, again, 30 and a half. Uh, you cashed with that one uh, uh, the other uh, in game three, and it's 30 and a half. The over is plus 100. The under is a minus 130. And you want to give uh, LeBron getting a triple-double as, as an official pick? I'd like to give it official. Yeah, I think there's some value there. Like I said, I just don't think the defensive intensity is mm-hmm. going to be as much LeBron, the guy wants to be considered the GOAT. He's going to need to throw up some big numbers one last time. I think he will knowingly 
that this is probably his last game of the season. I expect big things from him again tonight. All right, that's basically a, an assist prop. Uh, over eight and a half assists for LeBron James is a minus 130, but for LeBron to get a, a triple-double is plus 170. So uh, maybe instead of betting the assist pr prop, uh, yeah, if he gets, uh, you only lose if he gets nine, and then uh, you're getting a much bigger underdog line there. If he does, uh, you know, go over eight and a half and gets to 10, probably gets uh, 10 rebounds, and then you got your triple-double right there at plus 170. Uh, all right, so those are uh, two prop bets you're going to hit us with, Troy. Anything else, or is that it? I'd give one more. I'd go under the points this is the one I missed last time. Under the points with Kyrie Irving. Mm -hmm. I thought he played outstanding last time, and boy was I wrong. But I don't see him matching that again tonight. I think he'll have a good game, but not a great game. He had an outstanding game, and game three put him over his point total. But I think Clay Thompson latches down. I don't think Kyrie can match the shooting performance that he had. I would go under the point total with Kyrie Irving in this one. All right, Troy, uh, Kyrie Irving's uh, point prop is 26 and a half. The under is a uh, minus 110 right now at five dimes. That makes the third prop pick from Troy West. Kyrie Irving under 26 and a half, minus 110. Troy West, thanks for, uh, for all your thoughts and, uh, and insights here. Uh, tell us what, what we can find at your website, TroyWins.com. Yeah, thanks, Pete. I appreciate it. As you know, we have not missed the game in these NBA finals. TroyWins.com, come take a look. We're really starting to catch fire in baseball. It's been a nice baseball season for us. We don't stop after the NBA Finals. Come take a look. We're happy to give you a free trial. That's TroyWins.com. Like I said, Pete, another fantastic NBA Finals with SBR videos. I have not missed an ATS spread with you guys. Looking forward to moving on into the next baseball season and into football with you guys. All right. Thanks, Troy. Well, this episode of The Odds Couple is over. But if you give us a like and click SBR's logo at the bottom of the screen to subscribe, then you'll get all the upcoming videos as soon as they come out. And don't forget to take advantage of our website. There's free picks, live betting lines, and sportsbook reviews, and ratings guides, and a whole lot more. Check it out now.